Hello everyone, I'm Yan Zhe Cui. I'm from Purdue University. Uh, my lab name is a Collaborative Robotics Lab. And today I will introduce my uh, work about the self-adaptation uh, pla uh, uh, platform. Uh, we named it uh, Refresh. It's an acronym of Reconfigurable uh, Framework for Distributed Embedded Systems, both software and hardware. And um, uh, actually, our our target for this uh, self-adaptation framework is for the uh, multi-robot systems. And think about uh, in this way. And if we dis uh, deploy the uh, multi-robot uh, in a disaster area in order to uh, do the urban search and the rescue task, and we can uh, the human can intervene into the ro uh, robot when the robot faces a problem. So uh, our target is to uh, develop a to make the robotics to uh, easy use of our architecture to do a self adaptation and uh, in order to do a, a fault tolerance in the multi robot systems. We built our refresh architecture uh, on the conventional conventional layer uh, layer architecture. And the refresh, actually the refresh includes four layers. The first layer and the second layer, just like the conventional layer, is a, interface, a resource layer and the interface layer. And the novel of the, third, uh, the other layers is the third layer. It includes uh, uh, component, uh, the components. Uh, actually, the component includes uh, hardware and uh, both hardware and uh, software components. And the fourth layer, is, we call it a task layer. It's an event-based task layer. Actually, it uh, consists of uh, um, <coughs> configurations and uh, and uh, time-based configurations of components. And but uh, we code we code this part is uh, application software, but it cannot be used for the or it's hard to be used for the self adaptation. So we extended our port based object concept by attaching the online component evaluator and the estimator. And moreover, we also attach the decider, the management unit, the decider and the generator in order to synthesize the ta new task solution online. Uh, in the task layer, and uh, by com by com combine combining the uh, the uh, uh, self adaptation software framework, we can do the self adaptation uh, in the multi robot systems easily.